it's Clay, welcome to another League of Legends video. This is a follow-up to my patch 4.1 analysis uh, discussion stuff, uh, and specifically on the rhythm, Riven changes. Now, at the time, I wasn't actually sure as to how this would exactly affect her, so I decided to run a little bit of math and try and figure out exactly what is going on. Now, um, so the biggest kicker here is that it changed. The base damage has been lowered at, you know, at 10 at first level to from 30, 90 from 130, so the base damage lowers, but it is changed to a total attack r damage ratio instead of a bonus attack damage ratio. So when it's taking into account total attack damage, that will include her base AD as well as her AD per level, not just any attack damage she's getting from runes, masteries, and items, which would be bonus attack damage. So if we do some comparisons, <coughs> I just ran a level 1 scenario and a level 9 scenario, and I um, at level 1, I'm assuming that she's starting with the points in offense that give attack damage, um, and I'm also assuming that she's running 15 attack damage from uh, runes. So um, I'm start, you start level 1, and then I'm also assuming you're going to start with probably like a longsword or maybe a Doran's Blade. So I just went with longsword because it made the number easier. So it's 84 total attack damage, 30 bonus 80. If you look at it, it plug those numbers into her Q. Um, her new Q right here that will deal 130 damage uh, for all three Q strikes. Her old Q used to do 180 damage, so the rank 1 damage on your Q has been dropped by 50 points, which is fairly significant. Um, that's approximately one extra auto attack that it might take to kill somebody. So, I mean, that's kind of a... That's a pretty sizable... I mean, it's, it's a nerf. It's definitely a solid nerf. Um, but then the interesting thing is that at level 9, things tend to normalize. Uh, this is her new Q. It ends up at 513, and her old Q uh, was at 505. So it's actually slightly better. Uh, now this is only assuming that she bought a pickaxe in that time. Uh, on top of the 30 bonus AD, I'm just adding another 25 from a pickaxe. I don't know how accurate that is. You can assume that if you get more bon uh, total or, uh, bonus attack damage, that it actually even gets any even better. So... Um, it actually looks as if things tend to be... I didn't actually run like a late game situation. We could maybe do that. Let's say that she has like 200 total attack damage. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and try that right now. So let's do like level 18. So, um, so we have to start off with 54. Because that's her base attack damage. Plus uh, 3 times 18. So this is going to be her base AD. Let's go ahead and run this. 108. So that her base attack damage at level 18 is going to be 108. Wow, it's really struggling. Okay, now we need to figure out her bonus attack damage. Let's just give her like 200 bonus attack damage. Is like a rough estimate. Maybe she gets... Like a whole bunch of 80 items, Bloodthirster, Last Whisper, Black Cleaver, etc., etc., Runes, Masteries, all that good stuff. We'll just round it to 200 for simplicity's sake. So altogether, that would be 308 total attack damage. That's a fairly reasonable number, I would say, for a level 18 Riven. Now, um, so let's take these formulas, and we'll just plug the numbers straight in. So actually, what we need to do is do the level 9 ones. Already, so um, let's see here. We have 90 plus 60 percent of your attack damage. So if her attack damage is 308, we need to take 60 percent of that. $185, and then we need to take this. For 825, for a, this is on her 825, this would be her new Q. Now let's look at the old Q. So let's see, we have 70% of your bonus attack damage, so 70 times 200, 200 times 70%, going to give us 140. Now let's run this, giving us 810, which I believe is almost identical. So, yep, it looks like uh, the numbers are pretty much, you know, once you hit this level 9 period, it, it looks as if things are almost identical. 
maybe perhaps slightly better, but definitely a nerf to her early game. So, anyways, I hope you guys found this helpful. There's a definite chance I made some mistakes here, but just kind of quickly running through some of this math, it looks like, you know, the big numbers are here and here, 180 down to 130. But then once you hit level 9, things tend to seem to normalize a little bit and be exactly the same. So uh, just a straight-up nerf to Riven's laning phase. But like I said, once you hit level 9, max out your Q, you should be just fine. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. hope this answered some questions about the Riven changes, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.